Greetings one and all, I am the Sonic Geek, and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Joining me for this again is Shadow Samus. Hello! And we have found a new place to train. A much easier place. Yes. Bansly. Hello, Bansly. Aha! Oops. There we go. A Torchic. Yep. Goodbye, Torchic. Yep. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Hello, Firo. No, it's too bad I couldn't caught one of those reg ice back in the forest. Well, had you tried to... Well, had you tried to catch one of them, it ran the risk of exploding, so really... <laughs> you would have had a hell of a time getting one if you, caught, if you ran into one. Fair enough. Things that go boom are hard to catch, as yep. you would expect. Also, things that run away immediately. Well, well, those aren't present in these later games. However, you know it still is present and annoying to catch. What? Things that no roar. This is true. Meaning, well, uh, hope you don't run in it. Hope your encounter isn't end table. <laughs> because if it, if you end up running in Ente, I hate to break it to you, but oh yeah, I know full well how legendary dog hunting can go. Oh yeah, it's the worst. And you're talking to someone who's done that several times in Gen 2. Yeah. Because it is See, the, the best problem, gen. The thing is, they run away immediately. Yep. Which would move them to another place. So yep. you think trapping them in, so you think trapping them so you can catch them easier would be a good idea. And then they use roar and they disappear for good. <laughs> That's why two's probably not the best gen, actually. What, because of that one thing? As a matter of fact, and this is especially true in Crystal, if you don't have all three of them, you can't get Ho-Oh. So if one of them does that, you're boned. Well, they're not necessarily gone forever, you just gotta... If they use Roar, they are. Really? Yes. I don't remember that. I, I have had it happen before. I've had it happen before. I was trying to find Entei and it roared me, and I, and I looked on the map to see where it was, and it showed up nowhere. Did it say area unknown? That message doesn't show up on uh, that message doesn't show up on that game. But there was no symbol saying where it was. Huh. And normally the symbol would be there. It was a glitch or something. No, it was a no, it was a dumb mechanic. Of course, if you of course if you ran away from it, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't disappear. But for some reason, if it used roar, it was that might be helpful. I have found something worth my time. Oh, really? I mean, it's a Metroid game, and I found the Ice Beam. Oh, boy. Uh, 
Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I should probably go the other way. <laughs> you know, not towards the area uh -oh. I can't go to. Oh, oh what happened? Bug bite. He got a attack oh. boost. Uh, you're still better off bug biting. If he got a, s you're still better off bug biting because he still cannot hit you with anything devastating. Magnet. It only has, it only has confusion and metal claw for attacking. That's another reason why I suggested not bide. Because you could have wasted it because of Magnet Rise. Yay! The victory bell. I just realized, you know, I think Jarrah would be, like, perfect to go up against the victory bell. He would. He takes piss all from any grass move it has. Uh, if it has poison powder, he can't be poisoned. And plus, Jarrah has bug bite. Yeah. It wouldn't be super effective because poison, but still. No. It would be pretty. It would still be a good idea. Yes, more, please. Fuel the murder. <laughs> Blood Oops. for the Poke God. The Poke God. You don't have the Poke God. <laughs> I hate to bring it to you. <laughs> uh. All right, Jaru, your turn, Mister Bugman. I feel like once Let's... we start the gym, Gyro might be our best to lead with. Uh, hands down. Because I will break- because I will spoil this right now. There will not be a single grass thing that can get anything fired. Which is the only thing that thing ever has to feed. Fun sly. I'm on a quest to potentially find something helpful. It is taking me to these fiery depths, which I don't want to be in right me. now. Hello, Togepi. Bye, Togepi. See, see, right now, Togepi is the awkward thing to fight in this place. Well, it's not working this piece, we're not fighting it anyway. Well, yeah, but it, I was just saying, if you were to have, if you were to fight it, it would be the awkward thing to fight because of Metronome. Yep. I'm trying to free this thing so I can use it as a platform. There we go. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Yes, game. Pile on the energy tanks. All of the health. Well, I say pile on all the energy tanks, but if all they give me is energy tanks, I'm not gonna have anything I need. <laughs> There we go. But you're sure gonna have a whole lot of health to do it. Well, yeah, but 
all that health's gonna go down if all that health's gonna go down really fast if I don't find one of a couple things right now. It's gonna go down even faster if I keep falling into the lava. <laughs> More missiles. Zero. Well, at this rate, I'm well at this rate, I'm not gonna run out of missiles. Oops, there we go. That Vero's toast. Yep. Oops. Eh, whatever, I'll just... <laughs> I'll just do what the game obviously is not intending for me to do and wall jump it. <laughs> Fuck the police. Fuck your ice beam puzzles. <laughs> well... This is one puzzle I cannot say fuck it to, because this is over lava. Thanks for giving my great- thanks for putting my greatest weakness in front of this thing. Uh, oh wait, that's not uh, what I was checking. Ah, super missiles! I will take more of those. Do I have enough super missiles to just outright murder that boss whenever I get to it? I don't know, do you? Maybe. There we go. I thought you were about to sneeze for a second. No. I don't have a I don't have a sneeze brewing. One more. Why am I why am I wasting my time bomb jumping when I can just power bomb the damn thing out? I don't know. Oops. I could just power bomb the thing out and wall jump up to it, which is a lot faster. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Hi, bud. I think. Big three bell. Little fire dude. Goodbye. Oh, that's not a missile block. What am I doing? I will pick up this energy Woo! tank because they keep giving me these. And then I will. Hop up here because I think there might be something important over here. No, it's five missiles. More missiles. I'm getting plenty of these. Healing up. Ah. Running face first into a thing trying to kill me. Good job. Yeah, I do that all the time. More missiles. Oops. Oh, beautiful. Whoops. Whoops. Manectric. Hello, Manectric! You know what? Let's go for it. Just this once. This, just this once. Yep. I only want one bit of satisfaction. Oh. Not one quite. Health. On the plus side, it will not survive that swift. <laughs> nope. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that fortress is... E is great for murdering Kecleons. Really? Uh, considering it has Psybeam and Faint Attack, it's probably it's had Fury Swipes. Oh, fair enough. You're steel. I was about to say, you're steel. You'll be fine. <laughs> uh, of course, there's still the whole Houndoom matter to deal with. Well, you don't fight those. Yeah, but is it going to let me run away from them so easily? Let me pull up let me pull up something real quick. Assist me Bulbapedia. I need it. I need it. <laughs> uh, depending on what level you run into it at. 
I need to see what it knows. I know it has bite, it has howl, and it has roar. But it's really dependent on what that fourth move is. I totally did not type that. Okay. All of the Victory Bell! <laughs> so many of them. That is exactly what I want. As many of them as you can run into. Yeah. Just surrounded by Victory Bells. Yep. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We'll pull up the page for Mr. Houndoom. Hello, Torchic. Page for Mr. Houndoom. Paging Mr. Houndoom. Paging Dr. Houndoom. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, its fourth move is Smog, so it would be safe to fight him. Alright. They have no fire moves. So your only problem with fighting a Houndoom would be if it roars you away and gives you no experience. Ooh, natural gift. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay. You don't want that move. Okay, then. No I will, natural gift. I will, I will give you the reasoning behind why you don't want natural gift. In order to use natural gift, you have to be holding a berry. Yep. It will, it will destroy that berry to attack. Ah. And I don't know the schematics for how each berry functions. Now the move Fling, on the other hand... I can think of a few items you'd want that you could use Fling with. Goodbye, Victory Bell. Yep. All the better to level with, my dear. Ah, yes. Ooh. I think 23 is high enough for a fortress in a grass gym. Oh, probably. Maybe. Probably. Probably. Um... There's no doubt that nothing that anything can do in there will be dangerous to that fortress. So you think we're ready? Fortress is ready. But that Nid Arena might need some that Nid Arena might need, still need some training. Yeah. And that Nid Arena would still want to avoid anything that is also psychic. Yep. Are there grass psychics? Uh, Executor. Right. Space that out for a minute. I don't usually use those. They're not bad. Granted, they're way... Granted, they are way better if you have... If you have very strong sunlight to use them with. Next video, we take on the gym. How about that? Good thinking. I think we'll be in a good enough spot for that. I realized with your current team, you better hope you don't run into a fire gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we could always swap out. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> 
your very your single best thing is susceptible to fire. Is very bad against fire. Of course, I don't think a dark and we do it much justice either. Yeah, probably not. I mean, considering you wouldn't be able to use Psychic. Yep. Though if However, running... you... However if you are on... You are on the verge of being able to get something that will be able to just demolish a Dark Gym. Yep. Two somethings, actually. Yep. And you do have something that can already do very well against a Dark Gym. <laughs> yep. If you run into a poison gym. Yeah, that poison gym's not gonna do anything, do you? <laughs> Just gonna wreck house. I mean, unless they have a lot of skun tank and. Yeah, I was about to say, if that gym. I was about to say, if that gym has a skun tank. Stunky, you don't have to worry about, but skun tank, you do. Fun fact! Do you know what Stunky gets when it, Stunky learns when it evolves into Skun Tank? What? Flamethrower. Oh boy. It gets Flamethrower when it evolves. <laughs> so that begs the question, what else would we be able to do? Uh well, at that point, you would probably have a well-trained Nidorina that you could use a that you could use a Moonstone on. If we can find one. True. You could abuse the underground to get one. Probably. Abusing the underground can get you any evolutionary, get you most evolutionary stones. I might have to do that then. Uh, well, Moonstone is really the only one you need for right now. Yep. But if you ever find yourself in need of certain other stones, like say a leaf stone or a water stone. Also, side note, I think there is a house in Heart Home where you can get something. Really? Yeah, the house where you normally get Eevee. You get Eevee in Heart Home? Yes. Because the person who runs the runs the storage system actually lives there and got an EV from Bill apparently. So this whole time we've just had another mon potentially sitting there that could be potentially extremely useful. Potentially, but you'd get it at level 20 so it would still need a little bit of training. Ah, uh, that's no big deal. It's not right now. Make sure you have an empty slot in your thing. Yeah. We're gonna go drop off Ponchi. Give a little break to that guy. It's not like he's done much right now anyway. Well, yeah. He still doesn't have his good, th good moves yet. Yep. What does he even have right now? Okay, he doesn't have headbutt yet. Nope. He's four away from Ma Punch. Okay, so where is this house? Is it this one? Right next to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> oh, you're a trainer. There I go, running my mouth again. So what do we actually get? Um... Look... A Linoon. To see that it's a Linoon! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that won't be terrible, at least. Alright. On the plus side, all those HM moves you need, you could probably teach to this thing. That's true.
So let's see. It can definitely learn Cut. It can definitely learn Rock Smash. It can definitely learn Surf. Yep. Yep. Definitely keep headbutt on. In case you yep. need it to fight. Yep. Yeah, as I was about to say, out of those, I would suggest getting rid of sand attack. Alright. But for now... Training montage continue. Training montage continue. For at least a few more minutes. Yeah, of course. Yay! <laughs> Another one. Yes, bring all of them to me. Of course. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Matang. Ah, uh, Matang. This fortress looking. Oh, he's in great shape. You just healed. I was about to say, everyone's in good shape. Out. You just healed. <laughs> good job. Oh, it rise. Uh, <laughs> Metal claw. And there he goes. Success. Whee! Through to level 20. That would be Theory Swipes. Yep. Did that thing have double kick? Yep. Not bad. Not bad to have that. Meaning, guess who can fight those stupid hound dooms? <laughs> yep. I mean, it wouldn't be quite as potent because bite would still be kind of a problem. But still, yep. can fight those stupid hound dooms. <laughs> oh. And another Matang. Yay. Magnet. He keeps ascending with the power of magnets. <laughs> Fucking magnets, how do they work? Very carefully. <laughs> okay. My prize for all of that was five missiles, sure. My prize for doing that's gonna be five missiles, so I all might right. just skip over picking that up. Oops. Mm -hmm. Uh, whoops. Continue climbing. <laughs> Good job. 
All right. Ow. Gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell, and we will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Once again.